terms of an expression, a uh, binomial expansion is, uh, is what we are going to see how we get those terms. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Okay, so if the other term of a plus b power n is given by this formula, u r plus 1 equaling n over r a n minus b, then b power r, where r is the r term we are looking for. So let us see, find the coefficient of x in this term. So before that, I'm going to first handle this question, then I'm coming back to this. So let us see. Find the term with x power 6 in this. Now what they, what you do, you compare this with the term with this expansion of a. If I compare this with a plus b power n, so my a is x, my b with its sign is negative 2 over x, and then my n is 8. So now you put in this formula of u r plus 1 then b power r. So just put in this formula. Now we want to find the term with x power 6. So now my term is going to be a which is 8 combination r my a is x a is 8 minus r then my b is negative 2 over x then power r which we are looking for now here what we do we take this up so this will be now 8 combination r this is going to be now x 8 minus r into negative 2 when i take this x up it becomes x power negative 1 power r Remember, we are getting that, you know that whenever I have x, be the same as x power negative 1. Now, so this is more prior this. This power is to this, and this power is to this. So, what happens there is 8 combination r, this is going to be a power this. So, I have 8, sorry, I have x power r, I have x power r. 8 minus r, then this will be negative 2, this power gets there, and then this power is multiplied by negative and this will get x power negative r. Then if you simplify and correct like terms, you have negative 2 power r. Here, this negative is always put on the coefficient of this. You take it with this side, then you leave this one with just 8. Start only. So now, when I bring this cross x, 8 minus r, x power negative r. I bring this here, and I bring this here. And you say that whenever you multiply the two numbers of x power a and x power b, we add these powers, properties of indices. So when I add this and this, this so will be adding 8 combination r, then x, 8 minus 2 r using this property here. But now, we say what you want is the term with x power 6. So if you want the term with x power 6, what are you going to do? It means that we want the x to be with this power 6. It means that now, the whole of this should be equal to 6. It means that now my 8 minus 2r should be equal to a 6. Why? Because the term with this, if this is our x, it means that now the whole of this power should be a 6. So that's why I'm creating now all of this 6 because of this. So here my negative 2 r will be 6 minus 8 when I take this side. So negative 2 r be negative 2. So my r will be a 1. So if my r is 1 now, our idea is always our task is to get this r. So using if they tell you x power to the term is x power 2, you put the overall power of x. Our idea here was to get the overall power of x so that we can equate the required power. So from here now my r is 1. So if my r is 1, from this side I have my u. Remember this was u r plus 1. So my u 1 plus 1 is equal to 8 combination 1. 
because my power is 1 minus 2 power 1 into now to see when you put here x as r as 1 we have 8 minus 2 into 1 but they have already said that all of this is 6 but let us see if it simplify now this will be u2 equal to 2 now 8 combination 1 I think that is 8 get your calculator and press them yeah this is 8 then times negative 2 then x power 6 and so this will be negative 16 x power 6 now this is going to be the second term find the term so the term of this is our second term with x power 6 as simple as that so that's how we add this now the term is the second term so it's the term with x power 6 so the other term as simple as that now if they ask for the coefficient now we just pick out this this will be the coefficient to that term there as you are going to see in this example now because there is not the idea there let us come now to this they want now the coefficient of x in this now if they want the coefficient here the coefficient will be negative 16 and simple as that now let us come to this so see that now if i substitute will be my n is 10 we are looking for r my n from here is x n then my b this time is 2 over x squared the whole power r which i'm looking for okay now here we simplify this will be 10 combination r this will be x 10 minus r and then this will be 2 x now when x goes up x squared we have it now power negative 2 like this r now i want a yellow on r that's why i'm going to put x cross so this will be now 10 combination r then this power will give us 2 power r then x power 10 minus r then x this now I, this will get negative 2 r now we add the powers this will give us now 2 power r when we add it so we shall have 10 minus remember when we have x power a and this x power b get x a we add those powers so when i add this to this i get a 3 but remember now now i have the overall power of x now they want the coefficient of x so it means they want x but this x is to power 1 power 1 meaning that the whole of this power should be equal to this these are now my 10 minus 3r should be equal to a 1 because the term they want x power is 1 so i create this power the overall power of this expression so that negative 3r will give us negative 9 and our r should be equal to a 3 so my r there divided to my negative 3 r to the 3 now if you put it here we have it now 10 combination 3 2 power 3 then this will be x 10 minus 2 i mean 3 power 3 this will be 10 combination 3 this is 120 times 8 okay 10 combination 3 
Now this time the one in the office shape different from this here, the one with the term here, they are asking for the coefficient. So that's how we handle that. When I come to this, find the term independent of x. Now the term independent of x is a term without x. In simple terms, that's a term with x power 0. x power 0, you don't have x. Independent. So you mark this one. Independent of x it does not x. So now if we compare with a plus b power n, start from here, my a is 2x squared, then my b, is it's going to be, we will take it to the inside, the negative 1 over 3x, and my n is going to be a 9. So what happens, we substitute in our formula, you are The power r. Now, my r plus 1, my n is 9, combination r, my a here is 2x squared, power n, which is 9, minus r, into now my b, which is negative 1 over 3x, power r. So now, there, our task is to make x have 1 power. So now, it's that here, we have two terms, so this will be. 9 combination R, this power comes to a 2, like this, n minus R, then we also have x power 2, 9 minus R. Then this one we have negative R hat power R, then when I take x up, it becomes x power negative 1 power R. So this would be Now in the open brackets, we have 18 minus 2R, then this one is R negative, R bad, R, then times X power this time, this. So if you put them together, then I bring this. Then I'll be having now X 18 minus 2R, I was x power negative r. Now I'm going to find these powers. Okay, sorry, I forgot the r there. Then this one is going to give me x 18 when the r is this negative 2 plus negative 1 to get negative 3, but these are r terms. Now, the term independent of x is the term with the 0. So, that is the term independent of x. So, start now by compare this 0 and this. Even here, we are just comparing this with this. We are just comparing those x terms there. Even here, we are comparing the powers. So, now, we start now from there. My 18 minus 3R is 0. Take this inside. 3R is at 9, which will be now my R. So coming here, remember this is R plus 1. So my U is now 6 plus 1, the R, equal to 9, combination 6. Then 2, 9 minus 6 into negative 1 over 3, power 3, I mean power 6, power 6 into x, 18 minus 3, into 6, okay, so now this will be u7, equaling to, now 9 combination, 6 is 84, 84 times, so this one is going to be 9 minus 6, which is 3, 10 times 8. Now, here, whenever you have an even power and you have its power in something negative, it becomes positive. Whenever you have an odd power, the sign is retained. So this is 6, which is even. So you just press your Six. So the answer 
everything is one over seven to nine, then x, you see 18 minus 18 will be zero. Okay, so we, we have now, this times this we get eight or four times eight, I'm getting six or seven, I mean six, seven, two, over this one, seven, two, nine, and you see x power zero is one. So when I put that on to, so that I can simplify, the simplified form, so that term is going to be 2, 2, 4, the whole form, 2, 4, 3. So that is the term independent of x. I think that it has no x because x power 0 is 1. So you see it's independent of x. So that's how we handle that, members. I wish you well.